Hello and welcome to WordPress User TV. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create amazing hero images using the latest features in the update that was recently released. So before we get started, I have an announcement to make and this is a brand new course called Divi Blueprint 3. This course pretty much covers everything that you need to know about Divi. For more information about the course, check out the link in the show notes below. And also there's a 50% discount for anyone that signs up for the early bird offer. Okay, so let's dive in and let's get started. What makes these hero images work on Netflix is images are brilliant and you can easily read the text. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to achieve this using Divi. Okay, so let's dive in and let's start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new, and I'm going to call my page hero. Click on use the Divi builder, and we're going to go into the visual builder. Let's start off by adding our background image. So I'm going to come over here to this gear icon, click on background, and we're going to add our background image. Click on this plus sign, we're going to choose our image. Now, if you have your image already in the media library, you can just select it from here, but I'm going to upload mine. So I'm going to come over here to select files and I'm going to choose this image. Okay. Now I'm going to upload it as an image. Okay. So now that we have it in the background, we can save for the moment. Okay. So now it's time to add our module. So I'm going to start off by adding a single row. And in that row, we're going to add a call to action. Now, the easiest thing to do here is instead of scrolling, you can just start typing it here and it just comes up. So I'm going to select the call to action. Next, we're going to give it a title. So I'm going to call this legends on the button text. I'm going to call this watch trailer. And then over here on the text, I'm going to call this season six. Next, I need to get rid of this background. So I'm going to come over here to background. So here on the option where it says use background color, I'm going to select no. Next, let's come over here to the link. Now, if we don't add a link, the button won't show. So I'm just going to add a blank link for now. So now you can see the button is now showing. Let's come over here to the design tab. So in the text, first of all, we're going to make sure that our text is aligned left. Come over here to the header text. Now we need this text to be uh, slightly larger than this. So I'm going to drag it until I get to about say maybe even 70. Okay, that's looking good. The text color is fine as it is is white and the line height is fine. Okay, now let's go on to the body text. So over here, we're going to make sure that it's bold and we're going to make the text slightly bigger. So I think 36 is fine. Now the line height, I'm just going to drag this to 1 EM. So on the body line height, let's try and adjust this. So at the moment it's on one. So let's decrease this until we get to about 1.3. Okay, that looks better. Let's come over here to the button and make some style changes. So I'm going to click on yes to use custom styles for button. Now the size, we're going to increase that a little bit to about say 26. Let's change the background color. So I'm going to come over here and I need a bright red for this. Okay, that looks better. Now for the border radius, I'm just going to add zero. And then over here for the icon, I'm going to say no. And let's take a look. Right, so that look, that's looking better. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now and click on save. So what we need to do next is to add another module, but this time it's going to be a text module. So I'm just going to click on add module and I'm going to search for it. And here it is. So on the text module, I'm going to say coming soon, come over here to design. So I'm going to come over here to text and make sure it's light, bold, and I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Yeah, 22 is fine. I'm going to save it and drag it to the top. Now you can see here, it's quite difficult to locate this and drag it, but it's quite simple to solve that. So you can come over here to expand settings and then click on wireframe view. So this is our text module. All we need to do now is to drag it to the top and to go back to our view, we just need to click on this desktop view. Okay. So our text is right at the top, but we have a slight problem here because it's all the way up there and the gap we have here is a bit too much. So let's go in and make some changes. So again, I can't select it easily. 
So if you can't select it easily, you can always go into the wireframe view. But for now, I can select it. So I'm going to click this gear icon and then I'm going to come into design. Click on text and I'm going to adjust the line height. So next, I'm going to come over here into design and I'm going to come to spacing and make sure that I add margin zero for the bottom. And already that's looking good. Let's come here to custom padding and do the same. OK, so I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to save. Now we can see here that this season six is really, really close to the button. I'm not, I'm not happy with that. Let's go in and uh, make some adjustments to that. So I'm going to click on the gear icon to get to access the settings. I'm going to come into the design. So click on body text and I've just increased the line height there slightly so that the text is not too close to the button. But now this main title is leaving a slightly bigger gap. So let's fix that. So we're going to come over here to the heading text and we're going to add zero point and we're going to add zero point. Let's try zero point nine. OK, so 0 0.9 is, is OK. I'm going to save that and then go back to this text module and let's adjust that as well. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on spacing. And instead of adding zero, uh, let's try 20 or even 10. Right. So that's much better. And then one more thing under the text, let's make it all caps like that. OK, that's much better now. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to go ahead now and save. At the moment, we don't get to see most of our image. So to resolve this, we're going to add some dividers. So I'm going to click on Add New. I'm going to search for Divider. And then I'm going to come over here to Design. Click on Sizing. And I'm going to make the height, let's say, 180. OK, I'm going to go ahead and Save. So now I don't see where my divider is. So I'm going to come over here to my wireframe view. So it's right here at the bottom. So ideally, I want to have one at the top and one at the bottom. So I'm going to duplicate this and then I'm going to drag this to the top like that. Now, let's go to our desktop view and take a look. OK, that's much better. Next, let's go and make this row full width. So I'm going to click the row settings. I'm going to search for full width and I'm going to click on yes and save changes. Now it's time to do our blending modes. So let's come over here to our section settings. Click on background. So we're going to come over here to the second tab and click this plus button. So now we're going to choose black for the first color and we're going to choose white for this one. So I'm just going to add FFFFF for white. OK, so I'm happy with that. Now let's adjust our angle. So what we need to do here is just to make sure that the black is mostly on the left side because this is where we need the blending to be. And also you can adjust the end position. So if the blending mode is going too much into the into the image, you can always adjust that by just bringing this back a little bit. And you can also play around with the starting position. OK, but for now, we're going to leave that as it is. Now that we have this all set, let's come over here to the image. Go to background image blend and choose multiply. Now you can see that our effect has been applied. The good thing about this is you can always go back into this gradient and adjust how this looks. So let's start off by adjusting our angle. OK, so that's better. Our end position, we're going to drag this back a bit so we can have more most of this showing. So I'm really happy with that because it's now easy for us to read the text. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on save and publish the page. And then to have a nice view of this, we're going to exit the visual builder. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and also do go on dvuniversity.com and make sure you subscribe to get the latest tips and techniques. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.